So earlier in the week, I wrote a 60 plus page book in less than a day. In fact, it took a few hours. And this was possible because of the power of artificial intelligence. I'm going to show you how we can do the same thing in the next couple of minutes. And it's now left for you to craft a strategy around this and see how you can use this for business before the party is over. Because very soon, it's likely this is no longer free. It's likely it is charged for and you may need, you may not really you know get the full power of this because once everybody knows about it the party is literally over so how can you write a book and probably sell um thousands in revenue per month for your book in the coming year of books that you were able to just create very quickly well the power is uh, the, 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 the secret is to use artificial intelligence. Let me show you how it works. Now, before now, if you wanted to write a book, or if I wanted to write a book before now, my research process starts on Google. And then you would go to Google, and let's assume I want to write a book on starting a profitable organic tomato farm. So I want to specialize on um, tomato farming and I want to make it organic. And the first thing you want to do is you probably want to go to Google and you want to do how to start a, an organic tomato farm. That's what you want to do. And then when you get to Google and you do a search like this, the first thing that you are confronted with is a huge volume of information which you now have to sift through. If you look at these results, there is about 29 million results here. 29,29 million 200 results. So it means that if I'm going to start I'm doing a book on organic tomato farming, I have to now begin to drill through these results in order to put my ideas together and in order to start writing my book. But then there's something better. Now, if you come to this website called chat.openai.com, so what you want to do is you want to just type chat.openai.com, you come to this website, and then when you get to this website, what you want to do is you want to sign up. So you just click on sign up. And then once you click on sign up, you enter your email, you confirm, and then you go through the registration process. You'll be asked for your phone number. You put in your phone number, you confirm your phone number. And then once you are done with that, you can log into your chat GPT account. Chat GPT is actually an artificial intelligence that can help you find answers to questions you have very, very fast. So I'm going to log in and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this to quickly write a book on organic tomato farming. Now, when you log into Chat GPT, this is what you have. And so with this, you can begin to use this artificial intelligence to find answers for the things you are you want. So let's see. If, for instance, I do the same search I did on Google in search chat GPT, what do I get? I just come into this search box below here, and then I do a search for the same thing. So I'm going to ask artificial intelligence to tell me how to start an organic tomato farm. And then when I do a search for how to start an organic tomato farm, unlike Google, where you have to now start searching and searching and searching, ChatGPT actually comes up with an answer that is really very smooth. And then you have all those answers just worked out for you by artificial intelligence automatically. Now, it is very important for you to note at this point that even ChatGPT themselves states very clearly that some of the answers that you get when you use their system may not be accurate and all of that. So if you're going to use this to create books, 
try to make sure that you are creating books that you are familiar with or you are creating books on topics that you are familiar with so that as you build out the book those things that are not accurate you would spot them and you can work on them now it does not mean that when you use this to create books that you won't have to do some work you would actually have to work on getting something very good out there but it just makes the whole process very smooth and very easy for you so just by searching for how to start an organic tomato farm you get all these answers and say starting an organic tomato farm can be a rewarding and lucrative business but it requires careful planning and attention to detail here are some steps to help you get started choose a suitable location tomato needs plenty of sunlight and well draining soil look for a location that gets uh, at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight per day and has good drainage and then it gives you all of that now compare this to when you do a google search and then you just have to start reading and uh, reading and uh, reading but then it gets better it gets better so let's see um let's see how to start a profitable so i'm going to my my microsoft word documents right now um I'm going to my Microsoft Word document now and I'm going to start writing my book. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, oh, ChatGTT, can you write me an outline on how to, on a book, an, a book outline on how to start a tomato farm? So I'm going to do, okay, write, write um, 10 chapter outline, 10 chapter book outline on starting a tomato farm so i'm going to do that and then once i do that chat gpt automatically creates 10 chapters for me on how to start a tomato farm so you have the chapters I've done. so it removes the stress of trying to think about what the chapters are going to be and um, how to outline it and if you don't like what has been written you can easily ask that chat gpt okay i don't like this outline that you have prepared for me can you please regenerate the response and then chat gpt will tell you okay no problem i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to give you another outline and it will just go ahead and to give you another outline <laughs> immediately so if you're going to start a tomato farm, or you're going to write a book on starting a tomato farm, this is an outline that covers what you need to do, what the book needs to do. And you find out that this is pretty much amazing. If you wanted 12 chapters, you could get 12 chapters just like that. So let's assume we do um, we do uh, 10 chapters and each chapter has maybe like 5 to 10. Let's say each chapter has like 7 pages and we have 10 chapters. It means you're going to do a 70 page book and the outline is waiting for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy this outline. I'm just going to copy the outline from number 1 down to that. And I'm going to put the outline in my book. So I have my outline. So I have chapter one um, covers the introduction to tomato farming. Uh, number two, overview of the benefits of tomato farming. So let's go. Now that I have my chapter, I can go ahead and say, okay, let me start writing my book. And I say, um, introduction to tomato farming. So I can go back to chat GPT and say, okay, um, write an introduction to tomato farming. And then once I do that, you would see chat GPT goes ahead and writes an introduction to tomato farming for me. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is really amazing and it's a bit scary. Because we now have artificial intelligence generating pictures, we have artificial intelligence creating videos, we have a lot of things happening. So here is an introduction to tomato farming and I can just go ahead and do that under the introduction to tomato farming right there. And then I have an introduction to tomato farming. And then I can look at my outline and say, okay, 
what's next um overview of growing tomato farming and then you know you can just build the things out so i have the introduction to tomato farming there and then i can say okay how profitable is tomato farming let's see uh i can say how profitable is tomato farming and i can do okay chatgpt give me that and then it gives me that again and then it's amazing it's amazing you just sit down and then you just watch and then you see the results come out for you it's amazing it's amazing and once all these things has been generated for you for your book the next thing you just need to do is based on your own experience of the topic or based on your own knowledge of the topic so i can just put that in based on your own knowledge of the topic what you now need to do because of course I, i'm going to be sending this to thousands of people today so as i send it to thousands of people thousands of people will be using the same tool so you may get similar answers so what you want to do now is to make your work stand out and unique what you want to now do is that once you have generated your book like this you now sit down and then you now add your own flavor to it so you look at it this introduction tomato farming for instance you write it in your own words if you need to put in pictures and graphics you put them in if you need to um if you need to put in illustrations if you need to um nigerianize the language if you need to use um local examples and context you put it in and before you know what is happening you can actually do two books in the week if you are very very um if you're very very hard working you can do two books in a week and then all you need to now do is you need to learn how to sell your books so this makes it very easy to create books it makes it very easy to create high quality books because all you need to do is that you need to use this to build out um the content of your book the chapters the sub chapters you need to you can use it to research what you should put in and how you should phrase them and then you do additional research from google from your own experiences from your own local experiences and then you put in a book that your reader would really love to have and read so if you don't know about chat gpt it's out there it's doing amazing things you, you it's not just used for code you can even it's not just used for books you can even use it to write code as a programmer i found this you know you, you can you can put in chunks of code and you can ask chat gpt to correct your code for you and it's amazing and this is the direction that we are headed for in the future i just wanted to be aware of it I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.